What's up, everybody? This is Zek the Tech Preacher. So Android 12 L Beta 3 is out and is now available for Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro. So I got my Pixel 6 and I gave it a test drive to see what it's all about. Right before Google released the final bill of Android 12 L, I put uh, the beta version on my device and I'm going to give you my thoughts. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So Android 12 L is the most anticipated and very important release for Google. Now please understand this. This is a beta, which is not 100% stable for daily driving. So please, if you want to install this beta on your Pixel 6, do it at your own risk. All right guys, so if you have a Pixel 6 and you want to join the Android beta program, what you do is you open up your browser on your Pixel device and you Google search Android beta. When you Google search Android beta, you choose Android beta program. And when you open it up, uh, it's going to say, help make the next release of Android the best yet. Uh, and you scroll down, okay? And you see if your device is eligible, which now Pixel 6s are eligible for the program. Now, what you have to do is you have to opt in Right. Once you hop in, uh, it's going to give you a disclaimer. All you have to do is, you know, make sure you approve your disclaimers. All right. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go to your settings. Right. And go to system. And now uh, you want to go to system update. All right. And you want to check for updates. When you check for update, it's going to pop up letting you know that uh, the beta software is available for your device. And the only thing you have to do is click on and download it and install it on your device. Now, once you install it on your device, it's a little over two gigs. Uh, you're going to reboot your device and you're going to be on Android 12 L beta. All right, so we have the boot up screen with the new clean animations. And as uh, soon as you boot up, it's going to let you know that you are on the Android beta program. So looking at the UI, I'm seeing a few changes, but the primary thing is that Android L is a more polished OS with very smooth animations. It's fast overall, and it gives you a better experience, especially coming from Android 12. So let's talk about it. When opening and closing apps, you get a nice animation pop, which is really good. So you get this new animation that's popping in and out, which is nice. It's a nice touch, a polish from Android 12. Next, changing wallpapers is a little different here on Android 12 L. When you press and hold the home screen, now you get a nice little pop up here. It's more user friendly. Now you can see everything in real time. So when you change your wallpaper, now you get to see all your icons change in real time, which is a nice polished touch that I'm glad that Google did. The next thing I like is charging animation. So when you plug up your device, you do get some nice animations, which is nice to see. Again, a nice touch to Android 12 L. Also the boot up screen gives you a nice touch, which is really nice. Next, the home screen settings. Look, I'm not sure if this feature was here or not, but you do see a toggle now to uh, rotate your home screen. Look, I never saw this before. I'm sure that it's been here, but I never saw this toggle before. So now you can uh, rotate your home screen, which is nice. Next, you can remove the double line clock that was on your lock screen and it was an eyesore to a lot of people. Now you could have the normal digital clock that makes sense. You know, the double line clock to me, I didn't like it, but now you are able to remove it, which is nice. 
Next, the performance. Look, the Pixel 6 has already been a fast device, but look like Android 12L will make it even faster with higher refresh animations, which is nice. So again, it's smooth app opening here and smooth app closing, which is really nice. I really do like the fine touches with Android 12L. So look like this OS will be very good. Overall, you do have some fine touches uh, with Android L beta, and I'm sure that when the final build come out, you will see a lot more. But let's talk about some of the cons, especially using the Pixel 6. Now, one of the cons is, look, if you're gonna use this, use your Pixel 6 as a daily driver, don't use this beta. Even though it's fast overall, but there are some bugs that need to be ironed out. And of course, this is a beta. The first thing I wanna talk about, which is a con, is battery life. Look, remember that most betas, battery life is not that great. And I can tell you right now, I'm not having great battery life on the Pixel 6. Next, the UI crashes a lot. Look, I've been using it all day, pretty much to test it. And I might be watching some YouTube videos and the UI will crash all of a sudden. I can't even do split screen because if I try to do split screen, the UI will crash. So this is a beta work in progress. Uh, so again, this is a beta and you do have some issues and I do have a lot of OS crashes. The UI crash a lot uh, with this beta. Next, a little overheating. I noticed when using this device for a good period of time, I feel that it does get a little warm. It doesn't you know, hinder performance, but it's an unusual warmth when using this beta. So just keep that in mind. If you're going to use this beta, the phone does get a little warm. So here's my conclusion. Testing out this beta on the Pixel 6 is a good step forward for Google. Look like they're going in the right direction. Look, Google is making the OS make sense with ease of use. Having color changes in real time when changing your wallpaper is a nice touch. Fixing the lock screen, especially when you had the clock widget. Look, that didn't make sense to me, but I'm glad that Google fixed that. Look, I can't wait to see Android 12L on tablets because that's where I believe all the magic will happen. So we are gonna have some fun and Android L is supposed to come out in a few weeks for Google devices and tablets. Uh, Hopefully, you know, Google released their own tablet. That'd be extra nice to see. This is Hector Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. You let me know down in the comments below. Did you install Android L beta on your Pixel device? Look, I know I missed a bunch of features. Some of the things that I didn't talk about in this video, I've only been using the device for you know, a couple of days with Android L beta on it. And that's some of the stuff that I found and I discovered, and this is why I'm making this video. But you guys let me know down in the comments below, any changes that you've seen with Android L beta and some of the kinds that you are witnessing with Android 12 L beta on your device, especially on the Pixel 6. Let me know down in the comments below. Let's have us some fun and a nice discussion. See you guys on the next video. Peace.